assume the setup narrow starts turning that right foot in just in an inch there you go makes a difference remember you've bumped forward right hand lower so you're just that half inch move from the right and the right uh, shoulder will be here just remember lower on the floor right now the hip and knee is inside yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's 50 50 but the jaw is yeah
got something to sort of hit against so yeah. We don't want to let it go there. There's that slap. You can see how if we let it go, yeah, I, I, nothing to hit against. I, I feel like I hit this completely right from that position. Yeah. Well, so yeah, yeah, think yeah. about it. There's tennis. Yeah. Forehand, cross court. You know, want that draw swing. So we want to nail it down the right, mm -hmm. draw it back. We'll be starting on line. Pushing off, yeah. right? Keeping down, there's my ball turf. There's the compression on the ball. And this up, this one down, trusting it. Watch the ball, keep your head down. What's it mean? <laughs> I kept my head down. Right? This golfer did. Yeah. This is what it really means. Stay in posture. Stay in posture. As you're going through the critical area here. There's my arm above, right? Can't go left. My arm won't sort of turn over. Well, here, if I come up too soon, pull up. Like I said earlier, all the hold off slice yeah. like swing felt the same because you don't really know what's going on here. They're too mm -hmm. small. But there we are, we can hit against that. And then we come up. So you can feel we're finishing the swing nice and full. Remember, I said it looks like I've just nailed a driver because we're all the way around here. Yeah, yeah. Because we know we. Lost the shoulders early. And once they're horizontal, so you can just see how I can turn the night. Can't feel any resistance. You're not going to feel any here when you allow the weight to the outside. Does that make sense? So yeah, everything's yeah. so long and you know, willowy, I guess. Yeah, right. Right, let's do um, keys. This should be a prerequisite that you shouldn't be allowed to go on a golf course unless you've been on this machine. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's like, I mean, the, the, the feelings you get, it's just so definite. It's none of this vagueness of, it, you know, you telling me it, fit, it will feel like this. Because how can you tell me what it's going to feel like? It's just my body. This, this oh, shows awesome. Well, I'm glad you, that's really nice that you're enjoying it. I feel the down. You're off, you're on the inside of your foot. That's it. Keep the right shoulder there. So embrace the stretch, yeah. enjoy the stretch, because that's obviously the feel that we want. Did Matt, did Matt go, Steve? Yeah. There you go, it's a lovely position. It's getting dynamic with it now. But here's what we just to put a little bit more here. Okay. That was a two swing. Let's do a suit, let's do a little bit faster, it's a bit easier. Yeah. When it's faster, like I said, you can just you can actually pull against the robot coming down to feel that. Feel that, yeah. that, yeah. that, yeah. that resistance. You feel this wants to go. Yeah. And it's sort of creating that position. Wants to go. Yeah. Wait, let's let's let feel go. like we're here on the next one. Yeah. So we're okay. off the right foot. And we're right over. And we're here. In our angles. Yeah. So really embrace the stretch. That's, that's what we want. Swing, you're going to nudge the grip when you're ready. Okay. So just be careful on the setup. Feet. Don't exaggerate it. So if you had a where the screen is, if that was the mirror, mm. knee and hip, just in the instep. Credit card can go here. You've got a little bit of a pressure here, and then that's that, that set the relationship. You're now going back, turning. So nudge the grip.
Oh, keep your eyes looking there, watch for the dip. Yeah. Just notice how you're pushing off the insert. Naturally, it should, it should feel pretty natural doing that. Good. There you are. Oh. That's it. Already, can you feel how this is going to affect it? Oh, a positive way. Well, you oh, now can feel you can rush it, hit the ball out of a divot, so. Yeah, like out of that tight, skinny line. Yeah, you just get the ball in That's the turf. Or out of the you're not going to get, you know, bucket loads of grass trapped between club face and ball. <laughs> yeah, so watch that right foot doesn't turn out. Just that moving it back has made a difference here. Good. So obviously we can get a little bit of rotation. Don't have the whole of the face pointing at the sky. Allow it to release. Remember you're keeping your right shoulder lower coming through. There's the coil. Under it goes, release. There you are. So that's yeah. when that's going to start to fold. That's the key. That's it. Yeah. Right, right. If you let that right foot slip out and it starts to get too big, you find it very hard to get what you know this is feeling. This is in the turn. There you are. And then obviously yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah. That's the six. So a little breathe a second. I need a drink of water. So. <laughs> Good. Because you can still get the same feeling that I gave you. Yeah. Well, you can stand at home without, I don't, I don't feel like I need to go to the range practice that. No, do that. You can get like. really good not hitting lots of balls, obviously, yeah. you know what to think of. But it's going to feel more natural if you can get the feeling without the distraction of a club and a ball being hit. Mm -hmm. You'll be swinging a club going, well, that feels, you know, my body's kind of expecting that because I've, I've yeah. been taught it what to feel already. A bit narrower, and then you look at the right foot. Uh, as being on a clock face, yeah, between the 12 and the 1. Bumping the hips forward, that's it. And now you can see the knee and right, the right knee and right hip just inside the instep there, sure. where you've got the pressure going to build. So once you're ready with that setup, now turn, loading up. There's that spine angle behind the ball. And then as you, yeah, give yourself an idea of what the coil feels like, good. Back on your shoulders. Then turning through, really feel good. There you are, and then up into your finish. Feels like we're coming down and through. And watch the club strike the yellow tee. So see the club strike here. So I've got those last two swings. I definitely felt more like I could leave my body than less with my hands. Good. So, which is that's that's a huge thing for me because I've never felt like I could actually do that. Uh -huh. Because if I did that, I didn't have any power. Mm -hmm. So that's why I kept top that those those last few swings actually where you could hear it hit the floor. Mm -hmm. um, feels like I can actually take the club and leave my body out. Yes. And then coming down in it, pitching it away. I've got more balance now from that. Yeah. See. It, you're sort of feeling the right moves mm. again without the distraction of the ball. So this this I don't encourage anyone hitting balls in this evaluation if they're working with something similar to you because it's so important to leave with the feeling and understanding. Because you can see power potential. Yeah. An impact where we can trap it. And there you are. Right. Push against my foot. Can you see if that's the ball? Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the work.
like I said, we can build on that now with some other little drills.